we are back on live i was like should i record a video instead of going on live tonight and then i was like mm, maybe tomorrow night so i think i'm just gonna keep recording videos to like the weekends and then editing during the weekends and then posting stuff during the week like at the beginning of the week and then going live um, throughout the week whenever I want or whenever I can when I come down here to sew and um, I think that's gonna be a good thing for me I feel like I don't have a ton of content content to like record and edit and post like a lot of you guys are so good hi Sandra a lot of you guys are so good about posting videos consistently that are like full of amazing information and it's a lot harder for me I feel like to um, chunk out time to record and like plan content and then edit and then post so bear with me um, I will get better maybe I just really enjoy going live it's fun and so I also need like video ideas um, of what you guys would like to see I could do you know a video on cutie quilting and you know how you get your quilts on the frame and how you progress down your quilts and how you unhoop and hoop and I could do all of that. I don't know. I just, I'm in a video funk, man. I can't come up with stuff. So I did want to come live tonight and talk to you guys and hang out and do some sewing. And so, hello, Natalie. Oh, hi, Maddie. She said, hello, Beth, finally alive. I've missed getting on. Yay, I'm so glad you're here. Happy Friday, everyone. I'm so glad to see some familiar faces in the chat. Natalie, how's your day going? Are the kiddos down in bed yet? Hello, Kathy. All right, so I have a few things to show you before we get into sewing. And so the first thing I wanna show you is a quilt that I rescued. I think I'm calling it rescued because I feel like if I didn't pick it up, it would have just like gone to Goodwill or been thrown away. But I was on Buy Nothing. I really love Buy Nothing. So if you haven't looked into um, your local Buy Nothing group on Facebook, I highly recommend it. Most cities or areas have a Buy Nothing page dedicated to that area, and it's just a place where you can find things um, for free. So um, I found a quilt for free, and I'm really, really excited. So I wasn't the first one that messaged. I was like the runner up and so I said, hey, like if it falls through, let me know and I will come pick it up. And I wasn't really expecting it to fall through because the person was like, yeah, let me have the quilt. I'm in it. And so a few days later, she messaged me and she said, hey, um, the person fell through picking this up twice. Do you still want it? And I said, heck yes, I do. And so I hopped in the car and I went and picked it up. And it's pretty cool. There was supposed to be two quilts and there's only one, but I think it's really cool and um, I need to wash it. I don't think it's handmade though. I see it like a tag on it, but it kind of looks handmade. I thought it was. I got duped. Um, hello, Chloe. Happy Friday. Thank you, Maddie. Natalie says, Rexley got to have a sleepover with grandma and grandpa, but Casper is sleeping at home. I'm getting into sewing for the night. Ooh, score. It's always nice when those kiddos go over for sleepovers. Um, you do you. You get into your sewing jam and have a good time. That sounds really fun. Hi, Mary. T-G-I-F. You're so right. Okay, let me grab the quilt that I want to show you. Yeah, from the pictures, I thought it was going to be a handmade quilt, but it's not. And that's completely fine. It's still really cool. It looks handmade. So this is the quilt. Look at how pretty it is. This would be super cute to have out like on the couch um, for like the Christmas season. I really, really like it. I love the um, colors. Um, it's unlike anything else I have. So it's going to be well loved over here. Um, I'm really glad that I was able to pick it up. I need to wash it still. It's been like hanging out down here. I got it just the other day. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to wash it before we use it because I don't know where this person's had it uh, or where the quilt's been. So I need to wash it. 
And then in other news, I finished up this quilt today. I was able to find some time um, before dinner to put the binding on this bad boy. So it's nice and bound right there. And I think the back is super cute. How that blue just like frames it up so nicely. So cute. Someone give you a quilt. I found it on my um, local buy nothing page. And um, I was like, oh, I'll take it. I want it. So everything on that page is free. People will like post things from their house constantly that they're just going to get rid of. And people can comment on it and um, get those things for free. And so I saw a quilt and I was like, please give it to me. <laughs> so I was able to snag it. Thank you, Mary. So this is the quilt that I just finished up today. It's so cute. Hi, Colleen. How are you tonight? This is the second quilt that I've quilted on the cutie. And so I just did some like basic meandering lines on there. Um, I'm really, really happy with it. So I am going to mail this out tomorrow to Massachusetts to my customer. And um, I'm really excited to hear what she thinks. She wanted it to be bright and yellow. So the thread that I chose, you're not going to be able to see it, but the thread that I chose, oh, you might be able to, because it's really, 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 really pretty yellow. So I have, I think it's called cornflake or something close to that. I had that in my glide collection. And so I was like, oh, let's pop some yellow thread on there and make it nice and bright. BRB, need to let the dogs in. Thank you, Natalie. See you in a bit, Mary. Um, hello, Patty. Happy Friday. We made another week, everybody. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I do have more fabric left over. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another quilt. I might make, like, the same size or I might make it a little bit bigger. And I'm thinking about starting, like, a website. I might get my LLC because I don't have that yet. My original plan was to start an Etsy when I first started quilting so that I could make quilts that I wanted to make and then sell that on there. But I started doing like a ton of customs when I got started. Like people were just like, oh, you quilt? Can you make me this? Can you make me this? Can you make me this? And so um, I never really got around to selling stuff that I've made on like a website, like already made stuff, not customs. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another quilt like this with my leftover fabric and I'm going to do some like swirl quilting and everything. And then I'm going to post it on my website so that anyone who's interested can purchase the quilt from me. I think that's going to be so fun. Um, a nice way to bring in a little bit of extra dough to the family doing what I love and and this is a really cute quilt so I could see a lot of people wanting this for like a Christmas present for their new baby or a baby shower present or you know a birthday present anything so I really like this Beth are most of your customers from word of mouth um yes so um my first customer um she's purchased like 12 quilts from me um and I've also done like a lot of um advertising on the next door app and the neighbors app and I do a lot of like sharing just like what I'm working on on my personal Facebook and so a lot of family and friends um will see what I'm working on and message me and ask for a quilt um yeah but every time I make a quilt I give out my business card and so sometimes I get you know people referring me and giving my information out which is really really cool so I've been very lucky. Um, last year, I was super, super busy with custom quilts. And this year, um, I kind of wanted to like be selfish with my time. Hi, Melissa. I wanted to be a little bit selfish with my time and make more things for me because I was quilting, 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 and I had like nothing to show for it at our house. I had absolutely nothing that was like made from my hands. Everything was going out to other people, which is fine. But I feel like there needs to be a balance. Like I need some sort of, oh, I made this quilt. I need that like on my couch to remind me that, you know, I can keep some of the fun things too and enjoy my creations. But this year has been a little bit slower. I think also just because we had Louise and ever since we had Louise, I never made like an official post where I was like, hey, I'm back and at it. Like 
come come at me with all of the orders like I'm ready um I kind of just went into doing a lot of testing and like personal sewing so I never like announced that I was back open for customs so I've had a few people message and a few orders this year but nothing like last year and the year before I was so busy Patty, I printed out the Christmas block. It says it's a six inch block. So the pattern is already sized or do I need to enlarge it? Just leave it the way it is. Um, you do not need to enlarge it. Um, just make sure on the square on the pattern, there should be a square on the pattern. I haven't printed mine out yet. I can do that tonight actually. So um, you will want to check the scaling on there to make sure that your box is, you know, an inch, an inch square. But, um, if it's not like perfectly an inch square, if you've printed out all of your templates and they're just all the same size, like say they're just all a tiny, tiny bit off, it's fine. You just want to make sure that your block sizing overall is consistent. So if it's not perfectly accurate, because sometimes that can happen, um, with this pattern it's not a huge deal. Just make sure you print out all of your blocks at the same time so they're a consistent size. Thank you, Mary. Um, two lives. Melissa's on two lives tonight. Did you print it at 100%? Colleen's asking. The neighborhood app. I would not have thought of that. You are so smart. Yes, it's amazing. I have gotten a lot of business from the neighborhood app. I just, there's like a quilting group, um, like a group section of sewers and quilters. So I'll post a lot of like my recent projects there. And then sometimes I'll just make a post in the app. Um, and I've gotten like custom t-shirt quilt to orders and I had someone who wanted me to take all of her dad's, um, old uniforms and make it into like a table runner and stuff like that. And I've gotten a lot of business from there. So I definitely recommend posting on there, Natalie. Hi, um, have you on my cell and so Becca on the TV. Oh, fun. Yes. Uh, I saw her just going on too. Um, same here. I don't have a quilt. I've gifted everything I've made. See, I think Mary, I challenge you. I implore you to be a little bit selfish. Now make something and keep it all for yourself. Like even if it's just one quilt or one table runner or a wall hanging, make something and keep it for yourself because I feel like that's so important. There has to be a balance. Um, because I feel like as quilters, we're naturally always give, 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 give. Sometimes treat yourself. You put a lot of time and love into it. You need a quilt that you made so that you can like bask in your glory and enjoy something. Keep it. Hold on to it. Um, let's see. Hello, everyone. I'm so groggy from surgery, so maybe a little bit slow tonight. I hope your finger is better, Melissa. How'd the procedure go? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Um, I hope that you can move forward now. Hello, Janet. Yay, Natalie made alive. I agree, Beth. I'll try to do better. Just do one thing, Mary, and stop and start from there. It's gonna feel so much better. Okay. I have another thing to share with you. So today I went to Casey Makers, and it was actually a lot of fun. I asked um, Patty to hold a few things for me, and um, she did, which was super, super nice of her. So I enrolled in a class that I have been dying to go to, and it's actually really cool because um, Courtney is going to be coming over for the class. So I'm closer to Casey Makers than Courtney is, and so she's going to drive out here on... Um, Sunday, I believe the class is on a Monday. She's going to drive out the night before, sleep over, and then we're going to go to the class together in the morning. So I'm really, really excited. It's the collage quilting by, um, I, I never want to say names wrong, Laura Heine. And uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I have been waiting and waiting and waiting for her to announce this class. So they just went and got their certifications to teach the class. And I was like, Courtney, Courtney, they announced it. We need to go. We need to go. Because we've both been waiting. Um, I agree, Beth. I've kept nothing for myself yet. Have a few more to make for family. Then it's me time. It's so good to have some me time. 
create some fun things for yourself, ladies. This is like a reminder. It's okay to keep some of the things that you make. Oh no. Who's having this class? So KC Makers is having this class. They just got um, the certification to teach it. And so she's gonna have two class dates. I think she has two so far. So I'm going to the one um, on July 18th and um, I'm really looking forward to it. So you should definitely come. All right, so let me just get right to it. So I had to buy the pattern obviously for the class. Oops. This is what we're gonna be making in the collage quilting class. There's some really, really cute pineapples. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna buy the fabric kit when I go there so I don't have to worry about lugging around fabric or buying new fabric. So um, I'm really, really looking forward to this. It's gonna be a really, really fun class. Um, and so I grabbed the pattern. I paid for my enrollment today. And then I also picked this up. And if Sean's in the chat, I know Sean has some of this fabric. And I always think of Sean when I look at it because it is so his vibe. But um, I got this panel for Austin. Oh, they're upside down. I got this panel for Austin. I think we're going to have to like cut it in half or do something fun. But I found this and I thought that he would really like it. He's been eyeballing it whenever he goes to KC Makers. And so I grabbed this panel and um, I'm hoping that I can teach him how to quilt. So we're gonna pop some borders on there. And um, when we're done, um, we are going to put it on the cutie frame and he's gonna quilt it by himself. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. I mean, how fun are these birds? How fun. You're the greatest mod. You're spread too thin though. Amen. Colleen, you need to have like a mod training course where you train other people to try and be as good as you. Like you are so on it. That is so cool. Isn't this fun? So I want to do some hubby and wife quilting together. Um, really looking forward to that. And then... I need to keep my receipt because there's a coupon. I have a 10% off your next purchase coupon from there. So that's awesome. She always gives you coupon, coupons. I need to go to Casey Makers. You so do. It's a great store. And so I also grabbed this. I asked her to pull it aside earlier this week because I was worried that they would be um, out of it. And I was really glad that I did message because, hi, Kim because she said she only had like five yards and I needed two and a half for this test quilt coming up. And I think it's gonna be so cute. So I just picked this up too. It is Hole Punch in Black from Ruby Star Society. And I have a really, really fun quilt coming up from Heather. So I'll be testing it for her with this fabric and some other Halloween fabric. And so I just wanted to share all those with you my quilt that I rescued, the quilt that I finished, and the stuff that I got at the quilt store. Um, so, you guys have to go to Case Makers. If you're in the Kansas City area, you definitely, I recommend making the trip, it's worth it. Not only is the store packed full of beautiful modern fabrics, like there's a lot of fabric in there, but, um, Patty is just so sweet and all of her staff, like everyone who works there is so nice. We had three kiddos in there today and they were running amok, going crazy. And she's like, it's not a library. You don't have to shush them because they're like yelling and going crazy. And I'm like, shh, shh, stop it guys. But they're really, really very nice people and very patient with us. Um, okay, so now that we got all that out of the way, um, now, Watching fireworks and Beth. Ooh. What are your guys' favorite fireworks? Like, what is the one that when you're watching a fireworks show, you're like, I hope I see this one. Mine is the gold ones that, like, pop out, and then they, like, shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. They, like, dissolve in the sky. That's my favorite. Is that surprising to you guys? Because you know how I feel about metallics. It's literally metallics in the um, sky. How long has Casey Makers been in business? They're actually celebrating their first year anniversary coming up soon. They're actually having a party, an anniversary party, and there's going to be um, raffles and giveaways and cake and all of that. So 
I'm not going to be going because Austin has already taken off work for two days in July. So, um, but it'd be really fun. They're a newer shop. So now we get to decide what are we going to sew tonight? I think we need to just do, um, I think we just need to do our scrap blocks. That's what I'm thinking. We might as well keep making progress. So I'm going to change out my thread. This is what I was using when I was binding that baby quilt. It actually like matched perfectly on that blue fabric. Um, shout out to RFL Thread for always having a perfect color match to like anything that I need. I love using this thread for my binding because I can always find something to match. Um, I always forget to put this on the other end. I thought it was on this end. There we go. Um... Okay, so I'm going to also change out my bobbin and get my regular piecing thread. Maybe I'll wind another bobbin and be proactive so that we don't have to stop what we're doing later on and do that. Hi, Christine. How are you? It's Friday. I hate when this happens because I feel compelled to wind this little bit of thread back up on the bobbin. Just enough. Okay. So let's wind another cream bobbin. Even though I have like so many little ones that I need to use up. I changed my needle earlier. So I was thinking about my machine. All right. Let's put our stuff up here. All right. We got our thread back up there. Let's wind a bobbin and then get started. I should have had this set up before I went live so that you guys didn't walk, have to watch me get my stuff all put together, but I was too excited. Hi, Janine. All right, we are winding a bobbin and getting set up to do some more scrap block construction oh my gosh Christine I'm so excited I was eating lunch when you sent that to me earlier today and I was like ah Christine got a grace Q zone hoop frame this morning and it shipped this afternoon let's see <laughs> Aw. You guys are so sweet. All right, now that that's done, I hate winding bobbins, but it's kind of necessary. That's so exciting, Christine. I'm excited to hear about your journey with it and, like, how you grow and how you learn. So the... um frame is similar to mine, right? Like it's a hoop frame like the cutie. Is it just a bigger frame? Just a larger frame? Alrighty. So let me just double check everything. Do we, okay. We need one more orange block, and then we can move on to another color, which is gonna be yellow. I'm saying yellow's next so that I can get into all that pretty yellow fabric that you sent me. So now to get all of the things. Again, I should have this done earlier, but I was so excited to come on here and chat with you guys. I even cleaned up my sewing area earlier today before I bound that quilt. Cause like, I'm gonna have it all nice and tidy for when we go live tonight. <laughs> Let's do that. All right, I'm gonna plug in my iron and plug you guys in so that my laptop does not die. All right, 
there's so many things that go into this paper piecing, I feel like. Sometimes it feels like a lot of stuff I need to do and prepare. Glue stick always. Add a quarter ruler. Um, your iron, hot and ready to go. Fabric scissors, rotary cutter, sewing machine set to 1.5 or lower. Okay, let's get into it. Let's get going. This fabric's all the way over here. I think what I'm gonna do actually, so I'm not like reaching over here this entire time, is move this fabric onto this little, I have like a TV tray down here. I think that'll work nicely. There we go. There we go. Thank you, Colleen. Christine says, thanks everyone. I'm so tired of trying to push quilts through my domestic, even though it has a good throat size. Amen. Um, yeah, I love it. I am thinking that I'm going to try some swirls and flower meandering on that second baby quilt that I'm gonna make. It's so much fun just to like doodle around. Like I've done FMQ on my domestic, but it's doing this, pushing this and fighting the gravity of your table is just, after a while it gets old, right? So I'm glad that I don't have to fight the gravity anymore and have sore shoulders. Alrighty, what are we going to talk about tonight? What are we going to talk about tonight? It's always something fun. I'm going to grab some other orange fabric as well so I can show you what I had before you sent this. Okay, the only orange fabric that I had, this technically isn't even orange. I put it in there so that my orange fabric wouldn't feel lonely in the bin. <laughs> this is more like brown. So I'm not going to include that in my box. And then I have this orange banana fabric. Hi, Sassy Stephanie. So here's this that I used for a bib. And then striped orange. Like a tiny, tiny little piece of this like fall orange. And then um, Beatles fabric. So <laughs> that's it. If Janine would have been so sweet to send me orange fabric, these blocks would have been, oh my gosh, terrible. They would have been struggling. So thank you again. Beth, do you use a certain glue for FPP? I just buy this stuff. It's the Elmer's Craft Bond Extra Strength Glue Stick and it's the big fat one. I like it because it's cheap and I can buy it from Walmart and, um, I've heard amazing things about the sew line glue. Like I've heard a lot of people use that. So that's another good glue. And I've heard people go crazy over the acorn glue. So there's definitely options, but I feel like the glue stick is where I'm gonna try to save some money. Hi, Shelia. Your patriotic quilt's beautiful. Thanks for sharing it today. I love the color changing thread, especially. That's all out 4th of July quilt right there. I have a sit down quilting machine. It's a 16 inch throat space, but it's the same problem pushing and pulling, wrestling with the weight of the quilt. I dream of getting a long arm someday. Oh man, 16 inch throat space, Janine? I'm jealous. You should, have you thought about getting a cutie frame in the meantime of like waiting for your long arm? Cause you could always buy that and then sell it when you're done. Once you upgrade to a long arm, it's a lot more affordable. And you'd be able to take advantage of that 16 inch throat space on your machine. Yeah, I'm so jealous. I think Sean was asking me the other day, he was like, what does, what's your throat space on your Juki? And I was like, I don't know, like 
six inches? Like six and a half inches? I don't know. He's like, really? So 16 inches is, is insane. Like you could get a lot of quilting done in one pass on the cutie. Not really. Well, I, I hope that your long arm days come soon so that you can take advantage of that. That is an amazing, I'm sure pushing that through though, like you could do, you know, king size quilts easily in your throat space, not easily pushing through, of course. But that was one of the things that I hated when I was sewing was that this is so tiny. And when you have those big rolls, of your basted quilt just trying to push through and not fitting. Oh, such a pain in the booty. I think both Acorn and Soline are very expensive. I've purchased both, work fine, but Elmer's school glue works great, so I'm sticking with it. Ooh, nice pun. You are sticking with it. I love the Elmer glue sticks. They do just fine and I don't have to wait for shipping for, you know, the special stuff to come in. I don't have to wait for it or pay for shipping. And so I really like that. And it's cheap. I've never had a problem with it. This is such fun fabric. I love this. I guess like, would you consider this tie dye or a batik? It kind of looks like a batik, but also tie dye. I put the corn shuck in all the freezer and get out what I want to eat. <laughs> oh man. We got some corn today. We did a grocery pickup and I'm looking forward to cooking out um, the next few days. My parents are coming over for dinner tomorrow. See, that's what I thought. It is a petite, she says. A girl's got a dream. I have done a queen size on my regular domestic. Ooh. You set it up, Marie. You set it up. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Um, yeah, you set it up. Bet the, the flagpole I showed you today, I just gave to my son. Did he love it? Is he in the service? Hoping to get more done today. What are you working on, Janet? How's your day today? Instacart and grocery pickup for the win. Oh my gosh. Amen. Yes. Like, I'm telling you, taking them to the grocery store, especially by myself while like Austin's working, would be an absolute nightmare. Plus, I don't have to worry about them like, running off or putting stuff in the cart that they know mom's not going to buy. I don't have to do any of that. So I always love just, and, and another amazing perk to it is I can put what I want. I know, like I see everything that I'm buying. I don't forget things because I go from a list and I don't buy extra when I'm in the store, especially when, with the, when you're with the kids, it's like you're in survival mode, like fight or flight. And you're like, Okay, I'm either going to fight this when they ask for it. I'm just going to be like, fine, just put it in the cart. And so we always spend more money when we go in the store. When we order on pickup, you see that total start climbing. You don't see the total climbing when you're putting stuff in the cart at the store. So I love pickup. We don't have Walmart pickup here. What? Absolutely. He told me, when are you going to make me a quilt? Aw. I bet he was so happy. That's a beautiful quilt. Scrappy log cabin. Wonky FPP blocks. Done 10 so far. Yeah, you were working on that last night. I didn't know if you were still doing that or if you were working on something else. 10's a great... How many are you making? 10's a great number. I feel like I'm all over the place tonight. I'm like blah, 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 blah. Mm 
Walmart pickup is amazing. Yes, Beth, you're 100% correct. I do Costco Instacart so we don't get extra stuff. Yeah. Amen. Thank you for Instacart. It saves us money. And I like that I can see everything that I'm buying. Like, I can visualize, okay, we're going to have shells for dinner. We're going to have, you know, salmon for dinner one night. This is what we're going to do. It helps me meal plan a little bit more. Because when we go in the store, I get so, um, I get so overwhelmed. Like, I don't know what we're going to have for dinner. No, nothing sounds good. But when I'm on my phone and I'm like, oh, if we get meatballs, we can make spaghetti with those meatballs. We can make, you know, the meatballs that have the jelly and um, chili sauce. We can do mashed potatoes with meatballs. We could do meatball subs. Pregnant brain getting to you already. Oh my gosh. Yes. I'm so excited for July 12th. Thinking of you, thunderstorm is going on pretty intense. Oh, really? Oh my goodness. I think we're supposed to get storms over here as well. Let's see. Uh, I don't know when they're supposed to hit. I hope that you say stay safe. Oh my gosh, I cannot talk. Yep, it's going to start. Ah! I freaking love thunderstorms it's gonna be a good night of sleeping tonight that's the first thing that i think of hopefully no tornadoes so i hope you're being safe too thinking of you stay safe but i know i'm gonna be sleeping really nice tonight it's gonna be nice um Mine are going in the mail tomorrow. I'm really glad I sewed it early. Yes, I need to work on my traveling block. So I'm going to tell you guys something because this this is like, I don't know how I feel about it. But um, I signed up for the traveling block and I got my block. And it was a very complex, the barrister block. And I was like, there is no way I have the attention span to make this block. Um, and with Austin... You know, with needing to be off around 10 each night, I'm like, this is going to take me forever. And so I had to message Donna and ask for an easier block. I felt so bad, but I had to remind myself that a finished block is better than a super complex block. And I'm just happy to participate. Oh my gosh. Pregnant brain for real, Janine. I can't even talk. I hate thunderstorms, Janet says. Ugh. I love storms too. They're so calming. Right, Kim? Laura says that. Janine says she loves it. Christine says, I got the barrister block just finished. Girl, I applaud you. I, I looked at it and I was like, I was trying to find a way to turn it into FPP on e, uh, EQ8. I was trying so hard. I was like, I can do it if it's FPP, but I don't know if I can do it traditionally. I'm not as skilled in traditional piecing anymore. Pregnant brain? Did I miss something? Laura says. Um, yes, last night I made an announcement that I am not going to go to QuiltCon. Um, I was really, really excited to go to QuiltCon, but it's going to be nine months from now. So there's something happening in nine months over here, a little less than that nine months, just the hair, that will make it impossible for me to go to QuiltCon. So, yes, you heard that right, Laura and Mary. I don't know what the barrister block is. I will look it up. It has a bunch of tiny little half square triangles. And I think, like, was there flying geese on there as well, Christine? I feel bad that I had to be a pain in the butt and ask her, like, hey, can I actually get, like, a little bit more of a simpler block? Um, I just want to make sure I get it done, and I don't know how long it's going to take me to try and do this block. And she was so nice. She was like, yes, here's this one. So mine is very, it's a very simple block. I do not trust my traditional piecing skills anymore. I feel like 
I've totally gotten rusty. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Laura. I just signed up for the So Yeah Quilting Retreat, and now let's see if I get in or not. They are only accepting 75 people. Wow. Those things are a big deal, aren't they? I've never been on a retreat, but I've heard a lot of amazing things about the So Yeah Retreats. Is that the one that everyone went on recently, like Tucker and everyone? It was like a traveling one. Was that sponsored by So Yeah? Lots of house square triangles. Yeah, I just, I doubted my skills there, Christine. And so I just got a very simple block. So I will work on that tomorrow and send it out tomorrow along with my quilt. That I just finished. I had Jacob's ladder block. Ooh, I really liked the little flower basket one. That was really cute. I just don't get how a person knows which is the background is on these blocks. Yeah, sometimes it can be um, difficult. I feel like, I don't know. Are they, they have to be solid white. I did see some share blocks and they were like low volume. Do they have to be solid white for the background or can you use a low volume? I just looked at the barrister block. Oh my, I would ask for a do over too. Yeah, I just wasn't expecting. I like opened my email and I was like, no, cause I was just looking for a block that I could get done and send off. And you know, I feel like that's not being selfish or anything. Cause I did get in my brain and I was like, Beth, you know, you need to not be a pain in the butt and you need to just do it. But I was like doubting myself. Like, I can't make that block right now. So I'm just going to do a very simple block. I'm okay with it. It's a good way to keep me humble. Quilting is always keep it, keeping me humble. They want solid white. Okay. Hi, Mom. Everyone is saying solid white. That's what I thought. So I have some solid white that I purchased recently for a test quilt that I'm doing. I think I just saw a bunny. I think I just saw one of our bunny friends. Um, so I'll just cut into that. And if I need more of that for my quilt that I'm going to be making, I'll just order more from Joanne. You humble? Ha ha ha, mom. No, I'm saying I got like a very um, complex block for this traveling quilt thing that we're doing. And it kept me humble because I looked at it and I was like, there's no way. There's no way. So I'm just doing a very simple block. I reworked the pattern because it was all one eighths, which doesn't allow you to do trimming. See, that's what I was going to do. I was like, you know what? I'll just make all of them a little bit bigger and trim down because I need that squaring up side, like that step. But when I was looking, I was like, there's a lot of like weird measurements, like five eighths or, you know, there's something strange. Grandma again. I don't know, mom. This one was looking crazy, crazy complex. And I am rusty on traditional piecing. Like Heather's keeping me in check over here. She's letting me test her patterns and they're all traditional pretty much. So each time I do something for her, I am reminded of, wow, I need to keep practicing. Mom says, you told? Yeah, everyone was, you know, talking about quilt con and I was getting excited, but then I felt bad because it was like I was lying to everyone because I was planning on going and then um, plans changed. So I just said it. These are my friends I talk to all the time. I've only told family and friends. All of you guys are my friends. I haven't posted it on Instagram or like my Facebook. But I feel like I hang out with you guys every night, so why not? When is Heather going to have a YouTube cha channel? She does have one, Shilia. She um, revamped her one that she had from years ago when she was doing a lot of, like, paper crafting. And she even uploaded a video last week showing how she goes through her Skulliver pattern from Legit Kits. So um, I will 
find the link or Colleen might already be on it. Um, but she has a YouTube. And so next month when we do our BYOBOM, it's going to be hosted on her channel. So I just downloaded your pattern, Beth. I can't wait to make it. Thank you for letting us have it for free. Well, that's not me. Um, I'm happy that I was able to choose a free pattern, but the pattern's from Griffin and the Bear, and she has it free on her website. So all of the credits got to go to her for um, posting free content on her page so that we can all do it together. It's going to be a lot of fun. What pattern, Kathy? She's talking about the Christmas lights pattern that we're going to be working on on July 14th and July 17th. Let's see, what do I want to put here? Let's put this one. <laughs> Janine, you're so funny. Yeah, mom retired. So that's big news. She's officially retired, so she won't be doing nursing anymore due to just some of the things that she's had to deal with after her incident. Um, and so she's really excited. She's like, maybe it was meant to happen so that I can come hang out with the babies all the time. Especially the new baby, because I'm going to be drowning in babies. So she was upset to have to retire, but I think it's really, really good that she's going to take a break and enjoy life. Do what she wants to do. Spend time with my dad. Yay! Thank you, Shelia. I hope I'm saying your name correctly. I, I don't mean to offend anybody with your names. I am like very, very self-conscious about saying names out loud because I just know that I'm saying every single one wrong. So bear with me. I'm so sorry. I feel like I say that every time, but I just want you to know. Um, praying for a boy, but everyone healthy. I like how you say incident. Well, it is an incident. It's not like an accident. Like, you didn't accidentally do this. So, I mean, it is an incident. Like, it's something that happened to you. You had no control over it. So, I call it incident, not accident. Because it's like if I say accident, it's like you did something or someone did something to you. Your body was just uh, doing some crazy stuff. Um, T.Y. Colleen, I don't do Christmas, but glad you put the link up. You're always on top of it. Marie, if you're not going to do Christmas, you could always make the Christmas lights something else, like the little light bulbs. You could do Halloween colors, or you could make it work for anything. So even if you're not a huge Christmas fan, you could still do the pattern and customize it to something that you like, like a sports team or something like that. Um, where did you get the log cabin block from, Beth? Actually, let me grab the link for that. I know that Colleen's not going to have that link because it was something that I personally purchased and I haven't talked about it on here yet. So let me get you the exact link. It's really cool. It's from Etsy and it actually came with like three size options. I'm doing the six inch block, I believe. And Shelia, it's me. I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> again okay copy paste yeah mom's like it's your fourth c-section i hope you're okay like i'm so worried so built-in nurse yes i'm very lucky thank you it was not your time Definitely not. Mom, you are a walking miracle. Guys, my mom during Addington's labor, oh my gosh, her and Liz, my mother-in-law, were just like standing behind the curtain, like, yeah, you do this, you do this, you do this. Um, my mom was about to like 
punch one of the doctors because they kept they kept like hesitating they kept prolonging it and Addington was already stressing and then um Zoe's she got super super mad because the anesthesiologist was like a jerk and messed up my spinal tap and I felt that whole procedure and mom was like you need to report that so she's always nice to have in the corner because um she knows her stuff as a nurse and she helps me be a better advocate for myself. Mom says, I was ready to take actions into my own hands. And I'll stick Dr. Goodeye out of anything that happens to me. Mother. Dr. Mitchell's a good a good one. I have a friend who I used to work with had to go on disability because her lungs are permanently scarred from COVID. Oh my goodness. That's terrible. Wow. Yeah, I can't imagine. Um, we've been very lucky to not be super affected. We've gotten sick a few times, but we haven't had any like prolonged issues because of it. I'm very happy about that. I think we have like age on our side as well. Like, you know, being a little bit younger, we were able to beat it and not have long lasting effects so we're really grateful for that the kids got it too so yeah well she's had covid and she had you know the pulmonary embolism and her heart failed and her foot was broken and her ribs were broken and her sternum was broken and like all of this stuff her body is just like been through it so I'm glad she's not going back to work you go Rexanne that's what moms do don't mess with our babies no matter how old they are yeah honestly I never I never would have thought to report the doctor that's just like one I'm not someone who complains to people that much especially medical professionals like if I go to a restaurant and my order comes out wrong, I am not the one to like complain about it to the waiter and have, you know, I'm not like that. I will eat it. I will be unhappy about it. And I will complain to Austin the whole way home, but I will not confront anyone over it. And so when everything happened during Zoe's labor, I knew something wrong had happened. Like I had been not taken care of in the best way. And so I tell my mom and she's like, you need to report that they need to be written up and like all this stuff so laura says i work in a hospital and our covid numbers are climbing ugh oh my gosh all right you know the deal i'm gonna go trim this and i'll be right back let me move some stuff over what do you do in a hospital laura Our big scraps. All right. There is our third orange block. How beautiful. So we're all done with orange. We can cross it off our list. Just so I don't start making an extra of each color. And now we are going to go into either blue or yellow. We need four yellow or three blue. My mom is a nurse too. My doctor left some placenta in me and my mom was so mad. I didn't report her. Oh my gosh, Natalie. That could have ended up so bad. Like what happened after that? Because can't you go septic if that stays in? Oh wow. I work in the legal department. Get the claws out. Another awesome block. Thank you, Marie. We've got blue and blue. Okay, let's get into blue then. Well, now that I'm not going back, my claws have been attached and sharpened. She's ready for baby number four. Bring it, doctors. I'm going to kick your booty if you try anything. That's what she's saying. 
Okay, I'm putting my orange away. Let's get into blue. Now, blue is one of those colors that I buy a lot and I use a lot, so I'm, I have a lot of blue. Like, this is like three years worth of blue scraps, so I'm really looking forward to getting into these. I'm gonna take some of this out and keep it for other FPP, because I intentionally purchase more of this fabric for my FPP. So I'm taking that out and everything else we can just dig through. Oh my gosh, there's so much in here. Ah, this was one of like my first quilts that I made. Look at these cute bears and they have like a map and a little backpack. I think that's a badger with a fishing net. Oh, they're so cute. So I'm sitting these out. I don't want to use it in my block. And I also need to grab some white. So all of the blue are going to have white centers. So I'm going to do one, two, three. And then these are going to be yellow. We're going to finish this up this week. This coming up week, we will be all done with this. So I'm marking on here so I know for sure before I get stuck blabbing that these are my white center blocks. Won't stick these on over here. And let's get started. I can probably put these in my orange block before I get started. All right. Oh, and I needed my white fabric that I did not get out. So let's just pull that out. I have some really fun stars and rose fabric. Um, I think that's pretty much it for white. I don't do a lot of white either. But it's just a tiny little square, so it'll work out. And then I have this really fun, like, metallic -y fabric. So maybe we'll start with this one. Cut it. Make it a little bit smaller. Okay. I almost died at the doctor. And the doctor had to go to a meeting. Oh my gosh. Ugh. See, yeah, that's similar to what happened with me. So I was having my C-section, and my spinal tap like shifted and it wasn't working and I started feeling everything. It was the worst pain that I've felt in my entire life. And um, the anesthesiologist like walked out of the room. He wasn't even there. And like Austin started like screaming cause he was just looking at me and he was like, something's not right. Something's not okay guys. Like you need to help my wife. And uh, he like came back in the room, they beeped him or whatever, they paged him. And he comes in, he like leans over me and he's like, can you explain the pain that you're feeling? And I couldn't even breathe to like form a sentence. But in my mind, I was like, what do you mean? What kind of pain am I feeling? Are you freaking kidding me? I was just like, it was so traumatic. I didn't even want to hold her by the time she came out. I was in so much pain. So I was really worried. I was scared that Louise's C-section was going to be similar and that it was going to be terrible. So I like went into that being like, let's just get it over with. Just get it over with. And that's a terrible mentality to have going into having your kiddo. But I got lucky. The anesthesiologist was super nice. I like voiced my concerns. I advocated for myself. And, um... They took care of me so i'm really 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 happy that her birth was not traumatic um since you can make your own baby quilt what can your adoring fans do to support you during your pregnancy oh you guys don't have to do anything just keep being my friend keep hanging out with me and you know keeping me company you guys are so sweet you guys aren't fans to me you're friends like i love connecting with you guys each night it's a treat for me so you guys don't have to do anything that was very sweet I hemorrhaged so bad with you doctor was an ass and I never saw him again mom just says how it is she she just says it how it, how it is she does not care 
she will call somebody out. I feel like I got a little bit of that from her, but I have to get like heated up. Like something has to be extremely wrong or extremely upsetting for me to get heat up enough to call someone out. My mom though, as you guys can see in the chat, she does not deal with BS. She, she just does not. Might be why you didn't let me in the delivery room. <laughs> well, um, we will do lots of FPP. <laughs> yes, we will. Yes, we will. This would honestly make a really cute rainbow baby quilt. If you have anyone in your life that has like lost a baby and they're having a new baby, this would be a great way to make them like a rainbow quilt to signify that and use your scraps and do FPP. Bam, 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 bam. Win, win, win. My mom had an emergency hysterectomy. The doctor nicked something then flew to Florida to play golf. Someone else fixed her. She almost died. Oh my gosh. The carelessness. The pure negligence just astonishes me. Ooh, yay! Janet said, sent you a message to show you my wonky blocks. Okay, can I show them on the live? Or is it just for my eyes? I would love to show them on here if, if you're comfortable with that. You go, girl. <laughs> Be your own advocate. Those doctors put their pants on the same way we do. Yeah, they just do it a little bit more cockier than we do. <laughs> yes, and you will all know today is July 1st. It is July 1st. Mom, where are you going? <laughs> where are you going with that? All right, I'm going to go check my Instagram. I'm pretty sure that's that might be where Janet sent me the message, or it might be in Discord. Um, it might be in Discord. It might be in Discord. So we're going to have to go get on Discord. And I'll do some screen sharing. Open Discord. Log in. Finger password. I am a human. Aw, oh, turds. Are you kidding me? Okay, hold on. Let me do it on my phone because I'm, oh, on a fit on Facebook. Okay, let's do that. That's a lot easier than Discord right now because I'm not logged in on my laptop. I need to connect it on my laptop. I'm already logged into Facebook, so I should be able to open it. Lickety split. Is in the quilting co-op? Um, I thought there was a quilting co-op. Janet, where is your message? She says it's on Facebook Messenger, but for some reason, did you message it to my Goody Goods account? Or my personal account? Let me check my phone. Sometimes it shows up on my phone and not my laptop. Even though it's the same account. Um, switch accounts. Okay, cool. Yeah, you sent it to Goody Goods. Perfect. I don't have Goody Goods on my laptop. I need to get that set up. Here's a couple of my wonky log cabin quilts that I've done. There's no picture, Janet. It just has the message. There's no picture. I was so excited. Try sending the picture again. It might not have downloaded. And your profile picture is adorable. Those kids are cute. They are so cute. I love those chubby cheeks on that baby. <clears throat> um... Today, one of my granddaughters turned eight. Oh my gosh. It happens so fast. These blue blocks are gonna be really fun. Happy birthday, Marie. I'm saying happy birthday in the chat. 
my grandsons. They are stinking cute. So cute. You are a proud grandma. So, I guess that's a cool... What do you guys call yourselves? Or what do you have your grandchildren call you? Are you grandma and grandpa? Or do you have like a special name that they call you? Mom and dad are grandma and grandpa. And then Austin's parents are Gigi and Pa. But growing up, I had a Nana and Papa. And Austin has a Mima. So I always think it's interesting, like, what do you, what are you called by? It's so tough in the medical field to continue to deal, deal with staffing shortings. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Mine range from 26 down to 2, and the great grand is one month old. I'm Grammy. That's so cute. I love Grammy. That's a cute, a cute one. I'm Marty. That's cute. How did you, is that like an Australian thing, Janet? Have sent pick now forgot <laughs> there we go Ooh, those are so fun janet this is what janet's working on she's working on some scrappy um wonky fpp log cabin blocks with us she said she's made 10. if you're working right now have you um, made some more while we've been chatting no it's a family name oh I don't have a grand dog yet, Christine says. Oh, you're hilarious. Hilarious. All right, we're digging through this blue. Oh my gosh. What is, okay, I made bibs. There's a lot of bib leftovers because I refused to throw this stuff away when I was making bib aprons. So this is gonna be really, really pretty in this block. Good night, Janine. Or good night, Janet. Who's leaving? Who's leaving? Hold on. Oh, yep. It's Janine. Good night, Janine. I'll see you soon. Talk to you soon. I'm so lucky to have so many amazing friends to talk to each night. Me and my sister-in-law, when we went to the quilt shop today, we were talking in the car about it. And... She was like, it's just so cool to go on there and see people just, like, accept you and, like, you know, befriend you and support you. And I'm like, yeah, it's the freaking best, isn't it? Like, I'm amazed still that there's so many just nice people on here. There's so many nice people that build people up and encourage each other and show up each night. Like, that's the fact that you guys just show up and you are here is, it's amazing. Round six now. Hey Beth, I'm getting my toes on tomorrow. Think I'll kick anyone with that ankle, LOL. You better not. Hi Heather, hey, hey girlfriend. Tracy says, I agree, Beth. The quilting community is the best. It really is. There are some amazing people in this community. And it's really cool because before I came onto YouTube, I'm pretty active on Instagram. And so I was able to connect with a lot of people through there. Like Natalie, she and I have messaged a lot on there. And she's, I feel like she's a good friend to talk to on there. And um, I love seeing what she's making. And I've made a lot of mama quilter friends on there and so I was like okay so the Instagram quilting community is amazing like I haven't had any issues on there and then when I started YouTube I was like I don't know if I was expecting it to be any different like I didn't have any expectations I was just hoping for the best that people would be nice and there we go I feel like it's just reinforces the fact that quilters are just genuinely good people. Aw, Colleen! You are an angel, I'm telling you. That is so sweet. You guys just make me smile. That's just 
Hi, Sassy Steph. I guess you didn't see me say hi earlier. How are you feeling? Praying for your healing. I hope you're doing okay. It's nice having nice people to sew with. Yes. And chat with. Like, it's really nice to come on here and talk about quilting. Like, 100%. And then it's also nice that we have that level of comfortability um, to where we can talk about other things outside of quilting and be respectful and relate to each other in a different way. I really love that. I'm really lucky that I get to experience this because who knows? What if I didn't wake up one day? Like, what if I never was like, hey, let's make a YouTube channel. Like, I never would have met all of you guys. Everyone has been nice and thoughtful on this channel. You all support my girl and have, and give good thoughts and prayers to me. Yes. There was a lot, a lot of people praying for you while you were in Florida. A lot of people like Melissa, um, messaged and said that she had family out in Florida and she could help. Um, sassy Stephanie even messaged me and asked if she could send me anything. Like everyone was just so, so sweet. It was nice. The party can start. Heather is here. Whoop, whoop. What's up, Heather? A lot of love in this community. Heck yeah. Rexanne, we are a family of sorts. Yes, we are. We really are. That's why like when I was trying to decide, because I wasn't going to say anything for a while about, you know, having another baby. I was only telling, like, my family for a while just to be safe, like, wait the 12 weeks and then let people know. But I was like, I come on here every night and I chat with these ladies and gentlemen. And it's like, it felt like I was hiding something from you. And I was really excited to tell you guys, because you guys are like family. You spend every night with me. So, or pretty much every night, whenever I come on. You guys are always here. Look at this fabric. It's left over from grandma's quilt that I made, that really pretty cross quilt. Look at that metallic. It's like a metallic batik. It's gorgeous. Well, I guess technically it's not a batik, but it kind of looks like a batik because the bottom, although it doesn't have the metallic, you know, I'm not really educated in batiks, but I feel like it's a batik. It's really, really pretty. zero problem stuff we say hi to so many trying to keep up with everyone yeah sometimes it's hard some of you sneak up in the chat some of you guys are sneakers her amazing quilt she loves it she said that she hung it up on her wall which is really cool i don't think i've ever had like a quilt that i've made like an actual quilt quilt be hung up on somebody's wall so that made that made me feel good mom ordered it for grandma i just made it so Mom was the one that was being thoughtful and was like, you should make this for grandma. I'll order it. And so it was just cool to make something for my grandma because she's a quilter. She's such a talented quilter. So it's been really cool for me to learn how to quilt and then make her something. You always come on while I'm having breakfast. So love watching. Oh, that's awesome. Yay, um, difference. Like, I love it when it actually works out. Beth, it's awesome. You do this, you drown out the noise of children. <laughs> yeah. I know how that goes. Um, yeah, and ever since I made that, that quilt for grandma, I had like three other people order a cross quilt with that exact pattern. And I've even shared the pattern on here because a lot of you guys were interested in the log cabin cross quilt pattern that I shared. So it's a really popular pattern. I made a decision to learn EPP today. It's something I can take with me whenever I have to wait on the kids at their therapy appointment. Go you, Heather. Congratulations on pushing yourself to learn something new. I have not gone into EPP yet. It's something that terrifies me. Um, I was invited to go to the EPP class at Quilting is My Therapy from um, Irene. 
Um, and so I think we might go with Liz and Michaela. I think it's in like September or something. So I'll try to learn it, but I'm forcing myself to go. Like I'm going to be dragging my feet. I told Irene, if I go to this EPP class, you've got to learn FPP because she was like, FPP is the worst. I hate it. I'm like, how can you say that? And then she goes on about loving EPP. I'm like, girl, if I go to this English paper piecing class, you're going to foundation paper piecing class. EPP is um, English paper piecing and it's like all done by hand. Like you can, part of it's done with your machine, but it's something where you have like a template and fabric and you like base it onto the template. So whenever you see like hexes, mom, like hexagons, um, that's like a really big thing in EPP, but it's paper piecing. It's just a different technique from FPP. You should go Beth. It's not that hard. I don't, I'm just not good with my hands. I'm not good with my hands. Heather, that's awesome. Before you know it, you'll be making a Tula quilt. Oh my God. Those are so um, crazy intricate. You should, oh. oh, okay, more like what grandma does. I don't like hand sewing. I don't like it either. And so if I did it, I would probably baste with a glue stick. And I know this goes against literally everything. Like what Heather's saying is she's excited to have something to do away from her machine. I would do it at my machine because I'm so like not gifted in the hand sewing area. So I would baste it with glue and then do some like stitching on my machine to baste it onto the template. So I would cheat. We'll see. Heather, I'm so proud of you though. That is so cool that you were like, I want to do this. Let's do it. I admire that. And that's what I always try and get people, like I always want people to have that mindset with FPP because they have that fear, um, just like, you know, I had when I was like trying to decide if I wanted to learn FPP. It's the same fear that I have with EPP, but I feel like it's like even more because of the hand sewing part. Glue basting is allowed, not cheating. Oh, I have every intention of glue basting and hand stitching. Yeah, I'm gonna glue baste and then bring it on over to my machine. Your wrist might not let you. Yeah, my, my wrist has actually been feeling pretty good lately. It hurt for a few days, I don't know why. Like, I don't know um, whether, like how I exerted it, like over exerted it. Cause it hurt so bad. And I had that brace on for a few days. Playing Duck Duck Goose with Addie on the trampoline did not help it, but um, it feels better. I almost thought that it popped. It does look smaller. So it might've popped and now it's just growing back. Cause it's still there, but it's not as like pronounced as it used to be. It was huge. So maybe it popped and the like sack is still there slowly filling back up which will definitely be a treat if that's the case let's do this fun galaxy fabric these are all giving me flashbacks to like all these different quilts that i used these scraps for beth go get that wrist looked at melissa I have gotten it looked at. I just don't want to pay for surgery. So the best way to handle it is um, have this kid meet my deductible next year and then get my um, cyst removed after we have the baby so that we don't have to pay as much out of pocket. Because C-sections are not cheap, so it'll definitely do it. I hope it didn't pop. Then you have other issues to worry about. Well, I wonder if it did because um, they did say that if it if the fluid comes out, it 
can cause like your whole hand and like your joints and everything to um, be inflamed. Like it's a very irritating substance for the rest of your body, I guess, once it comes out. And so I wonder if that could, was contributing to the pain that I was feeling. It was localized right at where the cyst was, like my normal pain that I have with it. And it was just intensified. It was so sore. So I don't know what it was. Maybe it popped a little bit. Mom says, LOL, good planning. I hope it, um, the only thing I hate about glue basting is that the glue always ends up on my fingers. Boo. <laughs> There's got to be a way to avoid that. But even if you put gloves on, then it gets on the gloves. If it's infected and it popped, you could go septic. Oh my God, Melissa. That sounds so serious. Here's some more beautiful fabric from that cross quilt that I made for my grandma. Look at this fabric. Don't tell me Joanne doesn't have beautiful fabric. Like, I always want to pick this kind of stuff out when people are like, Joanne's not that good. I want to say, look at this though. Look at this. So, I think it's gorgeous. Heather says it is serious. Well, we're just going to cross our fingers. <laughs> My husband asked all the doctors today if they were in network for us. LOL. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so glad that you got it taken care of though. Like that's such a relief that you don't have to deal with that anymore. That's amazing. That, that looked very uncomfortable and like in the worst spot too. Because you use your hands all the time. So having something like that in the way, not fun. I'm glad it's gone. Talk to your OB about it at your appointment for real. Write it down so you don't forget. I'll remember. Heather's like, mm-hmm, you better write it down right now. I don't trust you, Beth. And you have great judgment for that because, yeah, I, uh, I need to write that down. I'll bring it up. But it's like, I'm going to bring it up, but it's not like they're going to recommend me getting the procedure done while I'm pregnant. Like, I feel like that's more of a risk. Like, it's an outpatient procedure, but they still have to like give me drugs or whatever so that I can have it opened up and cut into and everything. So I don't know if they're going to recommend that while I'm pregnant. I think, you know, he'll probably say, keep an eye on it. And if you have like any symptoms like of like maybe an infection or something like that, then, you know, go to the ER. But I don't see him saying like, yo, let's catch you open. But Again, I don't have a medical license, so maybe he's going to be like, what the heck are you doing? Get that taken off now. Psycho, how long has that been on? Oh, I don't know. Long enough? Look, I have dealt with my hubby being septic and in the ICU for 10 days. Not fun. Oh my gosh, that's so scary. Wow, I didn't know that you went through that. ICU is not a fun place. I learned that a couple months ago. What is wrong with your wrist? It's not a big deal. I just have a little ganglion cyst right on my wrist. It's natural. My dad has them on his hand and my great grandmother has them. And, um, but it is painful. The other day it was really, really, um, I'm watching her wrist whenever I see her, lol, kind of sneaky. Um, sometimes it hurts though, like if I bend it a certain way or too much weight or maybe overexertion, like it'll start getting really sore and then I have like limited mobility of like how I can move it. Oh, I see Laura wants to send me a message. She's sending me something that she's working on. Oh my goodness, Laura. Did you make this? Hold on. Did she explain this in the chat? She just sent me a fantastic photo. I did 10 days myself for sepsis. Oh my God. 
different forms though, not all sepsis is the same. Because of where it is, you can probably have local and be awake for the procedure so they don't technically have to knock you out for it. Yeah, you're right, you're right. I just wasn't sure if like the medication that they would give me to do that would be like um, not good for the baby or something. Oh my God, his gallbladder tried to kill him. Oh wow. You can have UTI and sepsis. My finger isn't a big deal. The knot has been there for four years. Today I had the entire finger cut open and have to go to wound care for a week to have painful work done. Ooh. Okay, so um, Laura just sent me a beautiful picture. This looks all EPP hexes. Oh my lord. Um, um, I feel like I need to, since she sent it on Instagram, I can log in on my um, laptop. Come on. Why is my thing? I accepted it. I don't know why my laptop is not contribute, like not wanting to do this. But anyway, look at that magnificent work that is hours and hours and hours and hours of piecing that is so impressive to me i really do enjoy looking at epp stuff like put together i think it's beautiful like absolutely gorgeous i i could not imagine hello Um, wow. To USA. Many people from Canada come. Isn't it Canada Day today? All right, we got a blue block done. So let's trim it. Get our rotary cutter. All right, so we got a blue block done. Dad says hi to everybody. Hello, here is our blue block. So fun, I love how scrappy it is. I am gonna try on the next one to like disperse it a little bit better so that the contrast is more consistent throughout the block, but I like this. This is so cute. This is such a fun, fun um, project. I'm having a lot of fun with it. So we've got two more blue ones to do. Let's check the time. We are so lucky. We've got another hour. So I think we can knock out two more blue ones and um, call it a night just in time for me to get off. It's going to be perfect. Love the blue, so pretty. Thank you, Marie. Yeah, I really love how that one turned out. I have a lot of really fun blues in here. I'm gonna try and get as many as I can in the blocks. I'm kind of thinking that when I'm done with this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hang it on this wall right here where my bulldog is, and I'm gonna move my bulldog into our room. Cause I think it's going to be a really fun wall hanging to put up in here. Well, I'm doing it and was super, I'm dozing and it was super fun tonight. Love you all. Many blessings to each of you. Good night, sassy Stephanie. Get some sleep. So good to have you in the chat tonight. Are we grilling tomorrow? Well, we're going to have to figure that out. If we are, we need to go to the store and get meat. Should I put glue on my two spot? I did. Yikes. It's okay. Try some physio for your wrist. It worked for my daughter. 
I'm gonna try it. I'll try it. I'll try it. You guys are like really looking out for me. I love it. I'm gonna go deeper into this and see what I can. Ooh, this was in a little um, kids princess quilt. So freaking cute. Look at those little hearts. Beth, have you met Angela Walters? I did meet her at the quilt walk. Yes. I'll bring hamburger. We just did grocery pickup today too, and we didn't have plans for tonight or tomorrow night so we didn't get food for tomorrow night otherwise we would have been prepared with something that is so awesome yeah um it was the best day ever it was amazing like I was still reeling from it like hours and hours um from when the quilt walk ended like, we were just quilting with Angela. We were just quilting. Like, it was so normal. Like, I wasn't in the same room with quilt celebrity, with the person that I watched to learn the thing that I'm most passionate about in life. Like, no big deal. No big, no big, we don't have to fangirl right now. I wasn't fa fangirling at all. I was calm, cool, and collected as a cucumber. We will bring the hamburger and I'll grab buns. Thank you. I cannot wait until you do the interview. Have you heard anything about a date yet? No. So I emailed that first email. She told me to email a certain person that does all of her scheduling. So I emailed and I waited and I waited. And I told you guys the other week that I finally got a response. And they were asking to see if I could go to the event center to do the interview. And I said, of course I can. Just let me know, like, a date that works. Um, I believe that was on the 22nd. And so I emailed the other day again because, like, I don't want – I'm, like, toying the line of I don't want to be nagging at all. I do not want to come off that way. I respect her, and I respect that she has a lot going on. She has a lot of responsibility. So I don't want to nag. I want to show that like I respect her schedule and understand, but I also want to make it known that I do really value this opportunity and that I respect and appreciate her, um, you know, agreeing. So it's like, I don't want to just not, I want to be persistent, but not in a nagging way, not in a way that is annoying or offensive in any way towards her. Like, I don't want to suffocate her with like, hey, 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 like, when are we doing this? And I also don't want it to slide waiting for a response for like a date. Like she responded and said, yeah, that she's excited to do it. You know, talking about the venue for the interview, but never, we haven't gotten to the date yet. So I'm so bummed about that because I really am looking forward to it. And it's just like a very difficult thing to navigate because I just don't want to come off in a certain way. Like I don't want to annoy her and you know, so I'm just trying to be respectful of her time and wait and be patient, but also show that I'm excited. And, um, I do really, I do really look forward to doing this. So it's interesting. I overthink a lot of things, though, especially interactions, especially interactions with Angela Walters. Oh, my good. Hello. <laughs> Thank you, Teresa. I love Angela Walters. I've been watching her for years. I can't even imagine. Yes, I've been watching her as well. Um, Free Motion Queen, Midnight Quilt Show. That was my jam. Respect, but definitely want the interview, but you should be respectful. Also, your time counts, but I hear you. Yeah, so I just, I want her to know, like, I'm here. I haven't forgotten about this, so I'm going to keep emailing you, but I'm also not going to flood your email 
I'm going to give you time because I know you don't have a lot of it. So that's kind of where my head's at with it. Um, I'm encouraged. I'm like reassured that I've gotten a response from that email that she told me to get in contact with for scheduling. So I'm, I feel good that the conversation is started and it's been received and, you know, I've got something back. So I feel good about it. I don't think it's not going to happen. I think that she's just busy and we're going to have to pick a date that works out. But I'm like anticipating. I am so, I understand I guessed right. Yeah, you and Heather got to go need to hang out. My washing. Hold on, where'd you get Washing, have a good night. Good night. Have a good rest of your day, Janet. Yes, you did. You and Heather are little detectives. Such a detective. You guys were putting me on the spot the other night. I genuinely was just talking about names. I love talking about names. Hi, Heather. All right, Heather. Or, um, Heather, it's nine o'clock. Are you ready to hop on? I'm going to send you the link. And you can um, join in. Heather's joining us. Heather's joining us. I'm following the filler quilt along. I know she's been putting out some amazing things. That's why I want to do the flea the flower meander um, that she just talked about the other day. I want to do that on the second baby quilt that I'm doing. Put this down. Colleen's excited. Heather is here. She's in the building. Sent you the link, Heather. I'm so excited. Bah, I called it. Yeah, you guys are evil. I don't know how. I don't know how. Like, I was trying to deflect that so much the other night. I was like, nope, 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 nope. I'm not going to say anything. Do I get to pick the name, LOL? You're hilarious, Teresa. We were talking about names last night. Um, the flower. I'm following the fill. Okay. Yes. Me too. I um, really liked what she had to say about um, pebbles. Hey, kid of mine, headed to shows in bed. Love you. Good night, everyone. Good night, Mom. I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Get some sleepers. Heather is in the chat. Heather is in the chat. Now let's just make sure her um, audio works. You have a glow about you. Oh, Hello. Oh, stop it. What's up, Heather? Thank goodness. You <laughs> potion. I okay, let's... Ansel. Yep. Good night, Ansel. Yep. Sending it's you time to go to bed. What? It was only a sunset that I saw. I know. Remember, it's the the sun is weird in the summertime. <laughs> it stays up. It stays light longer. Everyone's saying hi, Heather. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Good night. Love you. I'm not going Peace. to bed just yet. Yeah. But I'm almost finished. You can finish in the morning when you wake up, boo. Good night, Ansel. Beth, do you have, yes, I do. Sometimes you see her in the chat as Ashley B. That's my sister. She's my only sibling. Good evening. I have a quilt to bind. You have what? I have a quilt to bind. <gasps> nice. What are you binding? Um, Kelsey made this beautiful quilt. I love it so much. With um, Kim Kite's... Uh, small fabric oh, and I put this big cabbage rose pantograph on it oh and look at the backing I love oh, Ooh, that's fun that's giving me yeah. fourth of July vibes like fireworks 
Oh yeah. Little fireworks. Mm -hmm. Are you excited to bind? Are you looking forward to it? I mean, I'm not complaining like I normally am because I feel like I finally am like at peace with binding. Gotten your groove. Yeah. I figured out my machine is powerful enough so I don't have to put on a walking foot. Nice. Which apparently was the thing that was stopping me. <laughs> I just, I, I guess I don't like using a walking foot because I'm totally fine. I'm just like keeping my quarter inch foot and it's great. Yeah. Um, anytime you don't have to put the walking foot on is a win. <laughs> That's true. Natalie says, Heather needs to make videos. She has posted a video on her channel. What would you like a video about? Anything in particular? Because Beth made an FPP video, and then I was like, oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> FPP because video. I'm very unoriginal. <laughs> No, I love seeing your process because it's so different from what I do. Like, there's people out there that are more organized with their piecing. So, like, that's helpful to see. Because when they see me, they're probably, like, getting a headache. What the heck are you doing over there, lady? <laughs> what? You don't measure anything? You just <laughs> wing it? You just Swiss cheese every piece of fabric? Heck yeah, I do. <laughs> So Becca says hi. Hi, Becca. Hi, Becca. Oh my gosh, did you come get for a song? A song? Going. <laughs> Start warming up, Heather. <clears throat> me, 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 me. <laughs> hi, Becky. Beth, how late are we going tonight? Just I have to be off by 10 again. Okay. But tomorrow night. Um, if you're up for it, I can be up, um, longer if you're up for it. Okay. I'll let you know. Cause I know I'll have something to sew. So there's always something to do. Always something to make. I might just have to work on this guy. Skulliver? Yeah. We will be here for you. We will... Keep you company, keep you oh lifted. My gosh. I bet you're just ready to get it done. Hundred percent. I have never been so ready to, to just finish a quilt. But then ask me again because I need to finish my mom's nebula, and so I have a feeling that it's going to be the same thing when I oh. get to finishing that up. Good night, Melissa. Good night, Melissa. Thank you so much for dropping those links. Hi, June. Hi, Jean. Uh, Heather, how you bind? I love to watch all the different ways. Oh, um, Natalie, I could probably swing that. Is my wait? <laughs> did I mess up my audio? No, it's just not coming. No, you're through. good. I'd like to see if I can make it work. Skulliver does look fabulous. Christine is giving you some love. Are you there? Yes, we can still hear you. Yes. Yes. Hey. Tonight is my favorite. Hey, uh, my... Heather has warmed up her voice in anticipation <clears throat> for your arrival. So yep. if you have any song requests that you've been dying to hear, Heather is open. Um, I can be a great like backup instrument of some sort. Hi, Don. Oh my gosh. Hi. So nice to see everyone. Hello everyone. Heather is working on binding a quilt and I am working on the crafty log cabin quilt. I'm doing a rainbow. So we just started on blue. We already have a block done. We finished up orange earlier, so we are just making progress on that for our video or our live next month. I'm going to have to start preparing my request ahead of time. Hello, you everyone. Will. Joining from Becca's Live. I hope Hello, everyone. Night. 
Here's the problem. I left my iron on. And so I feel like it's, um, I feel like I have like limited space because I don't want to knock my iron over. Oh. We got it. We got a safety. Uh (laughs) Uh-oh. Melissa. Melissa, I am being very safe. Where's Melissa? I'm being very safe. I promise. (laughs) She just went to bed. Hi, Courtney. <laughs> then I'm not gonna be safe anymore. <laughs> just kidding. I'm sorry, just joking. I'm still saying Rowan, toss her and... to the wind. You know what? No, if Melissa's, Melissa's watching this replay. Path, we're standing in chairs too. We're standing on chairs. We're doing all the things. Um, Watch I out, world. I saw a song request. Um, Becca may want let's do the time warp again. Hmm. If not, I'd love to hear it. What is that? Do you From know Rocky it's Horror? Is? Oh, ours. You don't know the time warp? I do not. Oh my god, you're just baiting me right now. <laughs> you are totally baiting me. What's the time warp? I don't even. What is a Rocky Horror? <laughs> well, every time there's a song request, I'm like, do 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 do. Yeah, I'm just gonna let Heather introduce all of these songs to me. Um, so thank you. Hello, Peggy. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I think we she's do need to do a, a Rocky Horror watch party. Oh my god, that would be so much fun! How can we make this happen? Is that a musical? So it's mm, is it a how do you describe Rocky Horror? It's a movie that has like a cult classic following. It's yes. not. It's not a musical. But it's got music in it, and it's big shtick is, like, you interact with the movie. Oh, that's and cool. And so, like, if you go to, like, a theater, people will, like, there's, like, a scene where it's, like, it's raining, and they, like, put, like, newspapers over their heads. So, like, people will, like, pull out newspapers. They're, that's like, lines cool. that, like, you say, like, 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 movie, and you, like, shout things back. Um, it's just, it's a very, like, movie. <laughs> I'm going to have to check is... it out. I've heard of it. Yeah, I mean, it's, you, it's like, when you watch it on your own, it's, you know, it's just, it's just the movie. There's like, you know, not, I mean, it's, it's the movie, but I'm saying like, there's nothing like special because yeah. like, you don't necessarily know like all these things more fun if you can go somewhere and watch it but you know i mean different it's a different time now like a matinee like that kind of thing hmm like a the- like isn't that like a matinee like a live theater kind of situation or maybe um not. sometimes i feel like no, they normally matinee. they normally do like a like a late night showing like a like almost like a midnight showing sometimes because it's I'm kind of like, this. I feel like it's technically <laughs> a Halloween movie. Is it technically like, if if you were to put it in a genre, I feel like most people would say Halloween. We watch um, it. Heather is like in October. Becca's ready. She says, "Throw her a little earworm, Heather. We're all oh, waiting God. for it." <laughs> I'm so oh, angry. Spot. What do you? No pressure. What? Yeah. No pressure. She's like, what um, <laughs> do you want me to sing Bob Dylan? Here's the secret. Anyone can sing Bob Dylan. If you're traveling oh. in the North Country Road. You just, you just gotta, like, not sing. <laughs> I love Bob. Like, Wait, I have to be very clear. I love Bob Dylan. And so, like, I feel like it <laughs> seems like I'm making fun of that man. But, like, I love Bob Dylan. No. Hold on. I don't think I've ever heard that before someone um, requested born in the USA as well do 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 that is the theme for the weekend the you will say <laughs> can i just can i just be look you got this one you got this one i'll just be your clap <laughs> They, okay, I finally actually know a song. Like, I need a, yeah. like a point one for that. Um, 100%. Have, 
definitely more gifted in the singing area. <laughs> um, define gifted. <laughs> um, extremely talented. Ah, uh, no one has ever put those sentences together when it comes to me singing. It's normally like, how do we make it stop, please, God? <laughs> oh, gosh. So how was your Friday today? Oh, my gosh. What is going on? And my AirPods keep disconnecting. We hear you. So that's good. Uh, we haven't had any audio problems on our end, which I'm glad. We get to hear you. It's always a gamble. We never. Oh, I'm just pulling from the scrap bin like crazy. Um, oh, that's cool. Let's see. The chat is a moving. If Bob Dylan can sing it, then anyone can. Literally anyone, Becca says. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's anyone can sing Bob Dylan. Oh, man. There's um, there's a really, really good version of um Johnny Cash and Bob Dylan singing Ring of Fire. Ooh, and my can <laughs> You can what? I could sing that one. I'm I'm on it. <laughs> so my friend and I, uh this is when I was living in New York, we went there was a there was a Texas uh barbecue restaurant in New York City. Like perfectly Texas. They had like ice cream shipped in from Texas, beer, soda, <laughs> every like it was it was legit. And so one night a week they did live band karaoke. And so my friend and I went up and we sang Ring of Fire. And she sang it as Johnny Cash and I sang it as Bob Dylan. And it was so oh much my. fun. It was so good. <laughs> Do we um, have a footage from this night <clears throat> by chance? <laughs> um I we don't. Um <laughs> Okay, here's a question. Do you like to do karaoke, Beth? Um, yes. So I grew up with a karaoke machine, like in our house because my dad, like he would get the giant um, CD cases, like the giant, giant ones that you flap around. He had yeah. like, three or four of them full of karaoke um, CDs. And nice. so that was like his thing. We had karaoke at our wedding. Because he was like, it ain't no wedding without karaoke. And so my dad was just like getting it the whole night doing karaoke at our wedding. I love it. was it. really fun. What about you? I love karaoke and I always try to plan. Like when I know that I'm going out for karaoke. Okay. So my last time doing karaoke, I planned this event um, for like my work, like my coworkers. Um, I asked one of my friends, I was like, will you do um, Empire State of Mind with me? And <laughs> will you be Alicia Keys? And I'm going to learn the Jay-Z rap. Oh. And I spent three weeks driving to and from work. It was the only thing I listened to. There oh. is video footage of this oh my God. where <laughs> I start. I, I knew the whole thing. I didn't have to look. I knew the entire thing. And I do it and I start and I lost my breath so early on. I had to like sit down. So I just like, oh. And they're like parts where I'm just like mouthing the words, trying to breathe because I was like, I was like into it. I was like dancing and like everything. And I just, I could not breathe, but it was so good. It was so that, good. That is a level of commitment that nobody was prepared for tonight. Like she is committed to the karaoke life. I am. I'm actually now I'm like, okay, we need, I need to go up to Austin and I'm now like quilting was on the list of things to do. Binding quilts together was on the list of things that would be fun. But now after tonight, karaoke is up here. Like, karaoke, we, we have karaoke. <laughs> yeah. Um, my favorite, one of my favorite songs to sing, um, Gin and Juice. <laughs> by I think it, who sings it by Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg I know the version by the Gourds does anyone That's know this you version sent me the other night right did I send it to you the other day I think so it's like a, I it, oh, I, to it and I was like oh my goodness Heather how the heck did you find this uh version of this song um it's so good 
It's so good. So much drama in the LDC. It's kind of hard being Snoop D O O double G, but I, I somehow, somehow keep coming up funky and stuff nearly every single day. And can I kick a little something for the G's and make a few friends? It's a breeze through. Don't you know it's two in the morning and the party's still jumping? Cause my mama ain't home. home. We got uh, ladies <laughs> in the living room getting it on. And they ain't leaving till six in the morning. So what you want to do? Who? I got a pocket. <laughs> Sipping on gin and juice. <laughs> Laid back. So this is I wish I could I could karaoke uh that song. But like it's not available as a karaoke song. I would have to learn like the the Snoop Dogg cadence. Yeah. And I just haven't I guess I haven't had another karaoke opportunity to like learn <laughs> that cadence. I know the words. Um <laughs> Dear goddess, please. <laughs> what? Um, Amy says, I can honestly say I've never done karaoke. I should put it on my bucket list. Amy, there's nothing more freeing than going up there knowing that we either are going to sing the, the words wrong, in the wrong tune or just, you know, it's freeing to just do it and have fun. And everyone accepts you for it too. Like, I don't think we have any, um, like, professional artists going to karaoke bars. <laughs> maybe. Maybe they are. Um, yeah. When, whenever I do it, I, I feel like maybe I should be, um, maybe I should be clear. Uh, I've, I've never, like, done it, like, not in a private room. I always do it to where it's like, it's a group of people yeah. and we get a private room. And um, oh, one, cool. of, one of my friends is so good at like planning karaoke parties. She has like a playlist where it's like, she, like we get in the room and it's like, she's like, I'm playing these three songs and it's going to get everyone pumped and energized. And then we're going to just go. It's so, you so good. One song only. This is how we do it. <laughs> oh, what movie is that? It's provocative. It gets the people going. This is how we do it. It's Friday night and I feel all right. The party's terrible, but I was in a blast. That's the point. I'm a terrible singer, but karaoke. Oh, yeah. I love terrible karaoke. Singer. It's about having fun. Yeah, it's all about having fun and singing the songs that you like. Yeah. Um, especially when they're Bob Dylan. I don't know if you need some more Bob Dylan by Heather in our life. I loved it. Um. <laughs> oh, God. I was listening to... Um... Oh, no, the Iron Bell. Uh, I was listening to Bob Dylan. Uh, what is it? Hold on, I need to text Melissa real quick. <laughs> Did you tell her my iron fell? But yeah, it is you okay. know that you were being reckless and your iron fell. Someone get I, on to Heather. <laughs> I caught it Either. immediately. I tried to catch an iron one. And it still fell. I caught it like a champ, but it was still on. So No, I turned it off. It's off. Oh, okay. It's That's fine. Down. I'm gonna. I'm going to cancel my text to Melissa. Now. Thank you. <laughs> um, God, let me see. What? How does um? How does the Empire State of Mind start? Thank uh, you. Sam. House of the Rising Sun. There Go. it is. A house in New Orleans. And it's coming Um, 
Um, who put someone put Queen in earlier? Queen Ooh. is bad. Yeah, Queen's fun. My son loves Queen. So we listen. Or I guess maybe not as much anymore, but we used to listen to a lot of Queen. Um. Hi, Donna. Hi, Donna. She said, oh, good Lord, ladies. LOL. I sing. So amazing. They would escort me off the stage. LOL. Ask Melissa about her new surgery theme song. Hey, Mickey. Hey, Mickey. You're so fine. You're so fine. You blow my mind. Hey, Mickey. Hey, Mickey. Okay, I saw pa uh, Paula Abdul. She made an ap appearance on some random like totally unrelated Netflix show like she was on some reality show and she was just showing up to dinner and I'm like oh my god it's Paula Abdul <laughs> I was more excited to see her than continue watching the show that I was mindlessly <laughs> tuning into she's a boss straight boss I pledge allegiance to the flag is all I know oh baloney Don. You know more music than that. Lots of fun. Ooh, I shot the sheriff. But I didn't, I didn't the the deputy. Oh, 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 <laughs> Some Bob Marley win. Tisk, tisk. That's a good one. Bob Marley is a good one. What, um, this fabric feels very weird. I don't know what I use this for. Oh, man. What I is it? Like it? I don't know. Okay, we're going to use it. Oh, ladies, please just one more time for Melissa. As you know, she had finger surgery today. What a tribute to her. All right, let's start it out. Let's start it out. Are you ready for uh, some Mickey? Heather, you start it out and I'll be your backup singer. I'll hype you up. Oh my gosh. I don't remember how does it... <sighs> Let's just go right into the chorus, because that's that's the main that's the main part. Oh Mickey, you're so fun. You're so you're fun. So you bump by my head. Hey Mickey. Hey Mickey. Oh Mickey, you're so fun. You're so fun. You bump on my head. Hey you pull me Here's by the heart, but you take me by my head. Something like that. I haven't heard Here's the that problem. Yet. I listen to a lot of Weird Al, and so I definitely have, like, both versions, like, <laughs> mixed in my mind, and I don't know which is which. Yeah. Uh, Same with, like, um, Amish Paradise. <laughs> what? Oh, my gosh. Um, ga so, Gangster's Paradise? Uh, Weird Al... Oh. Um, parodied Gangster's Paradise to Amish Paradise. Heather. I used to know the whole thing. Oh my god. I used to like love Weird Al. Heather. What? Oh, gosh, I love that you're my friend. Like, you're the best. Honestly, I need to go listen to Amish Paradise. <laughs> Colleen um, said, it's very distracting. My husband is playing some heavy metal on his bass. And then there's y'all doing everything. Laughy face. <laughs> So this Amish paradise. You take me by the heart when you take me by the hand. Oh, what you do, what you do to me? Don't break my heart. I'm not a singer, so we're just putting ourselves out there to be embarrassed for the rest of our lives. Because hundred percent. But who who else better to do it with than a group of quilters? Oh yeah, for sure. Just eat it. Oh, just beat it, Michael Jackson. Or is it? Is there one? That oh yeah, no. It? Weird Al did do an Eat It song. <laughs> oh my goodness! I thought I that was a typo, was Natalie. <laughs> what were you saying, Heather? No, I think that was like I really got into Weird Al with the with the Gangsters Paradise 
like the, with that album. So I don't know the Eat It song as well. I know that it that it is alive and well, but I don't I don't know the lyrics. Peggy says I'm heading for a foot operation in about two weeks and will have a cast on my left foot. So I can still use my right foot for the sewing machine. L O L. Score. Happiest of thoughts. Yes. I hope your procedure goes well and feel fast. I hope that it is uneventful. <laughs> oh, I did. Um, okay, here's one. Uh, he, Weird Owl did a, um, um, an American Pie, but it was all about Star Wars, like the first oh. episode one. Long, long time ago in a galaxy far away, Naboo was under an attack. And I thought me and Qui-Gon Jinn could talk the Federation into maybe cutting them a little slack. <laughs> oh, God. What was the next part? Um... They were singing, my, my, the weird Anakin guy. Maybe Vader someday later. Now he's just a small fry. <laughs> He left his home and kissed his mommy goodbye. Singing soon, I'm gonna be a Jedi. Oh my gosh. Soon, I'm gonna be a Jedi. Uh, <laughs> he says, you are too young for the green door. Green door. That sounds so mysterious. Like It does. What's behind the green door, Peggy? We need to know the song. I gotta say good night. I'm worn out after a long day. Y'all take care and have a great weekend. Good night, Kim. Good night. Hi, Carissa. Teresa says, I think Heather likes some old stuff. Uh, you know, I do. I very much um I very much do. Yeah. I had two joints replaced in my left thumb last Wednesday. No sewing for a few weeks. Ouch, Lucy. I hope that oh, you get back to well. soon. That stinks. Wow, I'm mid. I don't know what happened. Feel 40 still. Ah, uh, you know the green door. LOL. Do you know the green door? I don't. Do I? Heather, what is the green door? I if if I know it, I don't know that I know it. <laughs> I definitely don't know it, so I'm gonna be of no help. I like old like classic rock and stuff, but a lot of the stuff that you're singing, like the boy bands, I wasn't really into boy bands. I gotta say that is that is definitely where I um I live very much in like '90s to like early. Or like maybe like late two thousands, like just barely yeah. like two thousand ten, eleven, twelve. Uh that's that's where I live in my music. See, I like I don't know, I just feel like I'm not as well versed in the nineties because I was still just a little little one, just figuring out life. I don't even know what I was listening to. I was listening oh, man. to man parents would put on they were always putting on like rock and classic rock and yacht rock and reggae stuff like that never boy bands um country a lot of country toby keith garth brooks yeah Teresa says, I have no idea what the green door is, question mark. What is the green door? Okay, um, I'm going to get on my computer. Yes, you answered the question about what is behind the green door. Green door, what is behind the green door? Around the late 50s, early 60s area. What? Shameless. Ah, oh, shameless. We don't know what the green door is. Becca, do you know what the green door is? Help us out. Help us out. 
It's a song? Now I've got American Pie stuck in my head. <laughs> it's going to be in my head all night. I mean, this is a bumping album. Look at look at this album. I want to listen to this song now. Shaken Stevens, Green <laughs> Door. He sounds like a fun guy. Like I'm, I'm in. Look at this picture I just sent you. Oh. oh no. He is shaking it. He's shaking it with that look. Like he is giving us eyebrows, a side lean, and a lay. Like all in one album photo. Like, yeah, I'm here. Listen to my, yeah. my music. Let me let me caress you with my voice. That is literally what he's saying right now. Yeah. What's up, everybody? I'm shaking Stevens. That's a that's a good looking man for 1981. Wow. My earworm is still. Let's do my the time warp again. I'll be seeing that for days. I remember doing the time warp. Colleen says, "I'm not googling that." Last time I googled something, chat shouted out, "It went very bad." Oh. <laughs> I cannot imagine what you looked up. I'll take one of him, please, LOL, Donna says. <laughs> you, you guys the shake with Steven? The shake and Steven? Did he give himself that name or was it like something shake someone else gave him? Like, did he name himself the shake and Steven? Or was that like a college oh, name? Oh, he's a Welsh singer. Oh. Oh, there. Okay. There's. Um. So, okay. Hold on. This song was originally from 1956, but it seems like Shake and Steven covered it in 1981. So could you say that he like shook things up a little bit? He shook it up. Ooh, pun number two. For the I love Donna's. I'll take one of him, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, order up. Here he is. <laughs> I had to come see you dancing, LOL. We were singing Hey Mickey for you, Melissa. And Melissa, um, Heather dropped her iron and I stood on a chair. So, you know, that's what's up. <laughs> I'm being safe, Melissa. I promise. Don't worry. Her Have a great Beth night. Beth is outing me. Jim Lowe, Green Door. Uh, is Jim Lowe as foxy as Shaken Steven? No. Go. Jim Lowe. What is this look like? <laughs> Don't stop. Believing, do, do, do. believing, she. Oh, you know what? Jim Lowe is not. Jim Lowe's not shaking it for me. Heather, is Jim Lowe shaking it for you? Oh, I mean, for the fifties, he's more of like a cheesy, like a very handsome, like approachable. He's not, can, he's did not, you did you show them? Did you show them? Sh uh, shaking Stevens. Yes, I did. D Donna ordered one for herself. Okay. Okay, so let's look at Shake and Steven. Colleen, don't ask me about my iron. <laughs> he is hitting us with straight sex appeal tonight. And then Jim Law was like, hey, I could be your milkman. Like, let, me you, <laughs> let me bring you milk. In the 50s, that would have been, that could have been scandalous. It could. I'll make sure you put it in the, in the fridge box by the door, Jim Low. What? <laughs> Oh my, oh my. Oh Lord, did you hear the sound that my machine just made? Bobbin. Okay, so I have to tell you, I think on Monday I'm going to take a break from Sculliver and make some duffel bags for us to take to the beach. Oh, yay! With that, um, 
empty canvas that you showed me a while ago? Um, yes. Or did you already make those and you're making more. <laughs> uh, I have a big stack of them to me. That's why I'm laughing. I have a um, I, I would send one my way, man. <laughs> we don't have a beach near here, but I could take it somewhere. Take it to the car. Um, I fully endorse taking a break. I'm just going to be finished with that before you know it. No way. So it is, no, these you last are, 14 blocks are going to take me 14 days. Hi, Michaela. Sister-in-law is in the chat. We went to Casey Makers today. It was really fun. What? Heather, out your iron. Yeah, what? I went to Casey Makers today and it was a, it was a blast. I picked up the Nothing. background for your quilt. Melissa, everything's fine. Don't worry. Oh, no. Heather said, down, girls. Down. I will not, Heather. I am standing on this chair. Woo-hoo. Hey, Shake and hush, don't, don't start. Feeling reckless. Don't start. <laughs> okay, just listen to the green door. You girls need to hear it. Laughy face. Oh, goodness. My headphones are upstairs. So And, my, and mine are being not cooperative right now. <laughs> Are we listening to the Shake and Steven one or the Jim Lowe? Yeah, what what do we need to do when we get off the when we get off the call? This is what's gonna like um lull me to sleep. So I hope it's not too shaken. Hope I'm hoping that like the, the shaken's at a minimum. No shaken. It's all fun and games until we have to call Austin. <laughs> He's just as reckless as I am. Hey, off that chair, young lady. Love the green door. Joe is blasting it right now. Jim Lowe. Hey, Beth, no chair standing. Precious cargo. Oh, very Aww. true. So I spilled the beans, Heather. I just, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to say it. Just scream it out to the world. So that's a good point. I won't stand on the, the chair. But to be fair, if I'm going to be standing on chairs, like this is the time to do it. Like before I get... Like the car goes busting out of my body in my big old belly. So no more, no more chair standing. Jim Lowe. She says we have to listen to the Jim Lowe one. Okay. I'm going to take your word, but I'm also going to listen to the Shake and Stevens one. Yeah. We're going to have to do a comparison on this. The next video you see on Heather's channel is going to be a comparison to Green Door <laughs> gonna be my uh, my review <laughs> bam Beth look at that bam oh <gasps> very nice look at that I love that binding color that you chose too oh I didn't choose it Chelsea chose it I love it it's, it's great so pretty yeah it pops off that blue so nicely mm -hmm. that dark blue Colleen is like, well done. Well done. Thank you. Laura, you won tonight. You won. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Yes, Donna was not in the chat last night. I was just coming clean that I wasn't going to be at QuiltCon. I was really excited, and it was kind of confusing because I literally just said, I'm so excited to go to QuiltCon. I'm going to meet Heather. We're all going to go out there. It's going to be a blast, and I can't wait to see you guys there. And then, uh, and then I was like, hey, Pokemon's in nine months, so I won't be traveling. So, Heather, what that means is I need to make my way out to Austin, Texas, like ASAP. I want to come do karaoke. I'll be the designated driver. You can, like, wild out. I'll be there. <laughs> Eat a lot of fried food and drink a lot of water. <laughs> And sing my heart out with you. Yes. And bind quilts. We'll have enough energy for the next day to uh, have a test and bind Honestly, I mean, we can just, you know, do karaoke here. When uh, when Whitney came over the other day, that's what we did. I was like, I was like, okay, I'm going to call this playlist Summer Songs in the Early 2000s when your <laughs> friends came over to play. <laughs> Yes. I love a good themed playlist. 
do what? What? What'd you say? Uh, I love a good themed playlist. Uh, yeah, I have a shower playlist, a chill playlist, a sewing playlist. And then I've got like my disco playlist when I'm feeling funky for the day. I love jamming out to disco like all day long. Like that's one of my favorite genres. Like, can you listen to disco and be upset? I don't think so. No, you can't. Like, there's no way. The beat is like, bam, bam. Why? Can you you listen to boy bands and be upset? Um, yes, because it's like, who are these men? When I was watching (laughs) Circus, who are these men? I feel like the last boy band, and I didn't even follow that boy band that I like, it was on my radar. But I was so turned off. Like, I get turned off when I, whenever people are like, oh, my God, it's these people. And I'm like, what's so great about them? Like, so the Jonas Brothers, that was, like, the most recent one that I was like, nope, not going to be part of this. I, Fair, go out of I did not do Jonas Brothers. The jo- okay, well, Nick Jonas is pretty talented, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Justin Timberlake is basically non-existent. Okay, Justin Timberlake is the exception here. Justin Timberlake is... He's rocking bodies all over the world. Like, that... Nope, 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 nope. Oh, dear friend. Justin Timberlake is in sync, not Backstreet Boys. I thought... Doesn't Justin Timberlake have a song called Rock Your Body? Or Rockin' Your Body? Does he? Like, in his solo... Yes, he does. Yes. Okay. Oh, does he? A refresher. Okay. That's from Saturday Night Fever. Dawn, you guys, you need to give me some easier ones. Saturday Night. I don't even. Hold on. I need a refresher. Hold on. Let me see if I even know that song. Saturday Night. It sounds familiar, but. Well, it starts with spelling. So we're already at a disadvantage here. <laughs> Boy bands are depressing, Carissa says. Looks like we need to plan ahead and shower with baby gifts. Just saying. Y'all prepare, prep, and be ready. We are all in, right? Aw, oh, stop it. You guys don't have to do anything. Just hang out with me each night. I like it. Now okay. raise your hands up in the air. <laughs> Uh, rock body, Justin. Yes, rock your body. How do you okay. Know this? okay. Hold on, let me refresh and then I'll start saying it to you. Mm, 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 ch, ch, ch. Don't be so quick to walk away. Yep, dance with me. I want to please yep, stay. Right. Dance with me. Got time, but I don't mind. Just want to rock the world. And have whatever you have. Come on, girl, just give it a twirl. Because I've been watching. Yeah. You guys can count how many lyrics I get wrong. I'm just having a great time. Tell you, native New Yorker. Oh, man. You guys are good. <laughs> okay, let me listen to it. See if I know it. Native New Yorker. You guys are putting me on the spot. Heather is the singer here. I am just the... The backup instrumental soundboard. I am liking this though. The intro to the song is great. Yes. She's hit me with some disco. I'm adding it to my disco player. Add to library. Thank goodness for Apple Music. Shout out. Love Agreed. Shack. That is literally, I love that you put Love Shack. That is the one that me and my dad would do together on karaoke. Like, that was our thing. That and Smash Mouth, like the songs from Shrek and everything. Um, You see a, sa- a faded sign at the door that says 15 miles to the Love Shack. Love Shack, baby. Love Shack, baby. Love Shack. That's where it's at. Love Shack. I've got me a car. It's as big as a whale. We're about to set sail. 
it's about 20. So come on and bring your jukebox money. The Love Shack is the little old place where we can get together. Love Shack, baby. The Love Shack. <laughs> That's such a good one. That like hypes me up like none other. More than a woman. That one's for you. I'm giving you this one. Do you know more than a woman? Um, no. Donna Summer. I was listening to oh, Donna, no. Donna Summer the other, okay. More than a woman. Sometimes they just need like a little the Bee Gees? You said Donna Summer. <laughs> Michaela says, best concert I've been to in a while. <laughs> you don't have to lie to us, Michaela. Um, I think Bob Dylan has a song called Just Like a Woman. I'm not even going to try and sing the Bee Gees. Like, do your best Bee Gees um, impersonation. We've heard Bob Dylan, but we need to hear the Bee Gees. I don't know the Bee Gees. Well, what, what's a what's another Bee Gees song? Stay in the left. Stay in the left. Oh, oh, I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. I wish I could. That would be amazing. Teresa said, Beth, I was singing that with you. The Love Shack, baby. We can do a duet anytime, Teresa. Anytime. We're waiting on Heather to do some Bee Gees reenactment. Oh, that's Billy Joel, just like a woman. <laughs> Michaela goes, well, dot, 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 dot. It's been a while since I've been to a concert. <laughs> touche, touche. Uh, no, thank you, dogs. All right, buddy, no. So, we finished all of our blue blocks tonight. Oh, look how fun these are. All of these are scraps. All of Great. These are blue. And then we finished up our orange. So now all we have left is to kick my dog's butt. Stop it. Dude, come on. Um, our neighbor's a construction person and they just like to do construction work like at their house at all hours of the day. <sighs> okay, so we have all of our blue. I don't know what they're barking at. Austin's like, what are they barking at? I have no clue. Stop it. Um, pretty happy with this. All we have left are four yellow blocks. Oh, M. Goodness, I am gonna lose it on these these doggies. Good puppy, doing a good job, alerting you that something is up. I know. I feel like Mama Bear just like goes. Ah, oh, my babies are sleeping. Don't wake them up. I think it's the fireworks. They must have heard like a boom and they don't like it. Um, but they're such big dogs. Like they're loud and they do bark. Okay. Ah, this is going to be so fun. I have no idea what they are barking at. Deep breath. Deep breath. These dogs. Okay. Let's put this back in. I ten o'clock curfew, which stinks because I'm having so much fun. So Heather, are yes. you gonna be sewing with me tomorrow night? I don't know. No, maybe. I don't know. I don't want to distract you from Fulliver. Um, I will let you know. Okay. 
I well, really do have to buckle down and focus on it. I understand. Because <sighs> I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the teeth. Yeah. There's no way around it. In the teeth. That would be terrible. Yeah. Be ripping that. I'm just tidying up over here before I leave. I always like to do a little bit of tidying up so that it's not crazy when I come down. I put all my tools away because my kids are heathens. I'm super excited. I let I laid out some of these blocks earlier. Um and it looks pretty cool. Let's see if I can do it again. They look very cool. I'm really excited to um to see this come together. It's lovely. Get our orange over here. None of the orange have the white blocks, so it doesn't matter where I put them. We don't have any yellow, so I'm just going to start the next row. Ah, oh, this is so fun! Got that there. I don't even. Purple, blue. Oh, I love it. Oh, so fun. Oh, that's beautiful, Beth. I want this to hang up in my sewing area so I can like look at all of the fun fabric scraps and be like, that's yeah. the first quilt that I made. That's the second quilt. This was this quilt. All right. Let's see, I hate having to do this. Um, let's look through the chat and see if we miss anyone. A lot of people are saying good night. Good night, Donna. Ooh, chic. Love freak. Freak out. Ah. Uh, freak out. Donna. 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 Freak out. That's a good one. Um, looking good, Beth. Thank you. I'm practicing the swirl hook quilting pattern and my brain does not want to connect the dots. I see the pattern. It makes sense. I trace it. It makes sense. And then I go to draw it and my brain says, nope. Word. Like, that is so relatable. That little hook on the swirl is very hard for me to get my brain around too. But just keep practicing, Amy. You've got it. I believe in I you. I do her flower meander. That looks super fun. I think I'll try again tomorrow. That's good. The colors are so rich. Thank you. All right. So I have a curfew of 10 o'clock um, through like on the weekdays. And so Beth, you are full of energy tonight. <laughs> yes, I am. I am in a good mood today. Um, and so tomorrow night I can stay up until sunset or until sunset. So we can be here all night tomorrow night. But I have to go and I had super... A super fun time with all of you guys. So thanks for hopping on to our live and chatting with us. Heather, are you live on yours? Did you pair your channel? Um, no, I'll probably I'll probably hop off. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how to do all that. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Chuck Berry did Maybelline. He couldn't get his car out of second gear in the song. Y'all are the most entertaining live ever. Thank you, Car Carissa. That's so sweet. Come come for the sewing. Stay for the terrible singing. <laughs> hey, we can add dancing, too. Like, Heather, are you? Yeah, like the arms. We can. We're gifted in the arm area. Ooh, like that is giving me La Chic Bot. Yes. 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 <laughs> Serve it, girl. Good night, Beth. Good night, Heather. Good night. Thank you to everyone who hung out with us. Heather, are you okay if I press the, the button in a little bit? Mwah, yeah, mwah. of course. Kisses, kisses, kisses. Good night, Good Dawn. night, everyone. Thank you. Bye, Teresa. All right, I'm going to press it. I always hate this part because I like to nice talk and talk and talk, and then I press the button. It's fun, though. Keeps me sewing. Good night, Teresa. Good night. Talk to you guys tomorrow night. Bye.